So what about you? What are you? You know what? I was just thinking that guy said lemon meringue. I love key lime pie, which is totally like off, you know, just off the charts well, that's here. that's a Floridian in It's you. a Floridian thing, but um, I like pecan pie uh, as well. Apple pie for me. Yeah. And my dad loves that big Costco pie, and that's what we get. He <laughs> loves it. It's a good deal. What, what you about do? you, Mary? I think I like all pies. Pecan's my favorite, but I think it's the ice cream, the a la mode. Oh, and yeah. heat it up and then let the... Ice cream melts I like on the top. Costco pie out of the fridge. You know, when it's there, you kind of just kind of take a little bit. And we were saying the great thing about on. Thanksgiving yeah. dinner is that it's always even better as leftovers. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I would agree with that. Yes, yeah. for sure. Uh -huh. I think just because all the juices start to marinate a little more, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the turkey just it all mixes leftovers. in. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, well, it was a windy, uh, it was a warm day. Downtown Los Angeles topped out at 78, which is warmer than average. Uh, I was still talking about red flag a warning though and so unfortunately uh, portions of western LA County Ventura County will have to watch out for the fact that we're still going to be looking at increased fire danger it's all courtesy of these Santa Ana winds combined with low relative humidity and that does translate to critical fire weather uh, temperatures though right now it's actually starting to cool off quite a bit you know we uh, sat, saw our sunset tonight coming in at 445 we're looking at 60s downtown 70s towards portions of Fullerton. So of course I know if you guys are consuming your Thanksgiving feast at this hour and you're just getting ready to hit the malls or the outlets. So here's a take at your Black Friday forecast. If you're headed to the Grove or even Fashion Island, it's going to be chilly. Temperatures in the 40s and towards Topanga and Cabazon, it's going to be the winds. So when those winds are whipping, it's definitely going to make things feel much colder as well. But by the afternoon, we'll warm up into the 70s. So I want to show you future casts. We have one storm system that's pushing to our east. That's actually going to be a pretty significant weather maker for portions of New Mexico and West Texas. Further to our area, we have a ridge of high pressure that's building in. So actually for the weekend, we're going to start to see some cooler air work its way in with the advancing storm system towards the Pacific Northwest. Now, this is a system that we were thinking could bring us a chance for some showers, but notice as we kind of advance it into Monday evening, it's starting to fizzle out just a bit. More significant uh, precipitation portions of Nevada. But I, I'm starting to think now there's a secondary system that's really gonna start to bring more of a uh, better chance, shall we say, for some rain for Southern California. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye on that by next week. What you will notice though, we're gonna be cooling out, cooling down. So 70s to 60s this weekend for parts of the LAOC area. The valleys will be windy and then we'll see those temperatures falling to the lower 70s by the second half of the weekend. The Inland Empire will be seeing 60s by early next week. That is your weather forecast.